Hey guys, so um, hello from the past. So today I have the swatches of the Painted Polish Garden Party Volume 2 collection. There are six polishes here all together, all in nice shades of green. I really love that they do these like kind of all one color collections, like it makes me happy. Um, and I really love green polishes, so I'm really into this one. These are available right now, so I will link the Painted Polish website down below. Six polishes here all together and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Stamped in Avocado, and this is described as a one coat avocado green cream. Since this is advertised as a one coat polish, I'm just going to show it in one coat when normally I would do two regardless, but it does cover completely in one coat. Fantastic formula, not too thick at all, which is usually what I would go into a one coat light color like this expecting, and it leveled itself out very well also. So that is one coat of Stamped in Avocado. The next polish is called Win or Go Gnome, and this is described as fuchsia, aqua, lilac, and lavender metallic glitters, and turquoise holographic glitters in a spring green Crelly base. Great coverage from the Crelly base in this one, and absolutely packed with glitter. This did cover completely for me in two coats. Really good formula. I say that every time. I think Painted Polish makes some of the best Crellys. This did cover completely for me in two coats. You will definitely have texture from all the glitter that's in there and you will definitely uh, have a little bit more difficulty removing it because again, glitter. So that is two coats of Winter Go Gnome. The next polish is called Leaf of Faith and this is described as pink, orange, gold, color shifting, iridescent flakies and micro holographic flakies in a lime green curly base. The base on this one is a little bit more sheer. The flakies that are in here have to show through and they're a little bit more delicate than the micro glitters from the last polish. So the base is gonna have to be a little bit more sheer, but there are tons of flakies and holographic sparkle in here that won't dry as textured as the previous polish with all the glitter in it. And despite being a little bit more sheer on that first coat, it did cover completely for me in two. So that is two coats of Leaf of Faith. The next polish is called Feeling Plantastic, and this is described as a champagne holographic micro glitter mix in a spring green Crelly base. This one is also a little bit sheer because there's a lighter colored, a little more delicate glitter that has to show through, but there is a ton of that micro glitter. It's loaded with glitter, but it's nicely balanced so that doesn't make it too thick. This did cover completely for me in two coats. You are gonna have a lot of texture out of that micro glitter and there is a lot of it in there, so it's gonna be more difficult to remove as well. So that is two coats of Feelin' Plantastic. The next polish is called Kiss My Tulips and this is described as crushed pink metallic flakes in an avocado green Crelly base. Again, a little bit more sheer on that first coat, but still covered completely for me in two. The flakies stood out through that base really well. They didn't get hidden at all. You will get some texture from those flakes and you probably will have to scrub a little bit to get them off, but it's not gonna be anything like the more dense glitters that I showed previously. I could also see longer nails needing three coats for this one, just depending on your application. So that is two coats of Kiss My Tulips. And the last polish is called Sweet Chive of Mine, and this is described as cobalt blue metallic glitters in a lime green Crelly base. I love the contrast in this one. The Crelly base is very nicely opaque. These are darker glitters, so it's a little bit easier to make the base more opaque. So you get good coverage out of the base, but you don't lose any of that glitter at all. This did cover completely for me in two coats. I think it's gonna be a pretty solid two coater for most people. You are gonna have some texture from that glitter and a little bit more difficulty removing it. So that is two coats of Sweet Chive of Mine. So you guys know I always tend to pick the little teeny tiny flaky polishes because I love them so much. So I picked Kiss My Tulips because I love those rose gold flakies, little teeny tiny metallic flakies. <laughs> mixed into this green base. So that's kind of a given that this is gonna be my favorite. I don't usually pick the creams with paint and polish collections. I don't know why, because they have really good creams. Their cream formula is really good. Uh, but Stamped and Avocado, I also really, really like because not only is the formula fantastic, easy one coat coverage, especially for such a light color, bless you. But this is like, my kind of color. So I also am really happy with the color. So I think the combination of the two snuck this one into my favorites as well. I think there's usually just so much going on with the other polishes that I don't feel right picking a cream um, because there's so many nice elements mixed into the other polishes, but this one spoke to me, I guess we'll say. 
Really, really like this one as well. So that is the Garden Party Volume 2 collection from Painted Polish. Again, those are available right now, so I will link the Painted Polish website down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.